Welcome back here to the PBA Finals at Nine Eye. Uh, we're down to the semi-finals of the UK singles. We've got uh, Ross Ellery from Taranaki playing Gary Cotter from Cambridge. Gary actually won the Auckland uh, section of the UK playoffs. And Gary's off with his first bowl. Coming down nicely. Finishing inside Ross's. Nice start by Gary. I'm joined in commentary by uh, Nick Thompson, an earlier winner in the semi-finals of the pairs. So he's into the final tomorrow morning. Well done, Nick. Thank you. Right, Ross Ellery playing his second bowl now. Just a reminder, it's a two-set format, nine ends per set. And if they're tied one set all, we have a three end tie break. Ross has just come up short there. Gary looking to go around that short bowl. Just yeah, some, something similar to his first one. He's looked to play this pretty well, maybe just a little heavy. Ross staying on the same hand. And looked to have cricketed nicely here, yes. coming into the jack. Is he a little hard? No, he's played a great shot. Good shot by Ross. <laughs> nice correction. Hard to tell from our camera angle who's holding there. It may still be Gary. Gary down his forehand, being a left-hander. Both playing the same side of the rink. Gary's just a bit light for weight here. Ross just asking the marker who's holding shot here. Our marker is Steve. He's just doing a little check. It's obviously very close. He's called a measure, so <laughs> we're none the wiser. Staying on the backhand. He's looking to either promote his short one or just get round it. Looks like he's taken a wider line here, Nick. Looking to draw around yeah, it. Be interesting to see if it gets all the way back. Oh, it looks to be drawing nicely on that hand. He might have just run a wee bit through. Right, Gary's still staying on his forehand. He looks to have picked a good line as well. Has he got enough weight? Looks to have played a beauty here. That's definitely the shot. So one and a measure for second. Nice opening in from both bowlers. Players will decide now who has the second. No, just one. Just one. <laughs> one to Gary for the opening in.
That's a relatively long in put down by Gary for this one. He's sticking to his forehand. And when we say long, it is long. This is a 40 metre uh, green here at Nine Eye. Most of our outside grass greens in New Zealand are only 36 metres, so it's a uh, it's a fair old uh, trip down the green, and he's played a beautiful opener. Just short of a toucher, but he'll be very pleased with that. So he's forced Ross onto the forehand. Just coming up short. Good line. And that may force Gary to change as well. Yep. Gary now playing his backhand. That side That's of the rink is definitely drawing in nicely. Yeah, it's a nice switch from Gary. Both both players seem to be finding the green pretty well at this stage. Which all goes well for a good game. Ross just looking to correct here. He may have just gone a little wide. And we've seen that over the weekend. If you go yeah. a little bit wide, they do tend to hang. I might have put the commentator's curse on them there. <laughs> Gary looking to add another here. He'll be looking to finish just behind the jack. Yeah, very handy. Not in the count, but uh, if Ross picks it up, he's got to catch it. Gary's now got to catch it. So Ross, Ross sticking with the draw. Looks to have chosen a better line. How's his weight? He... Oh. Oh, but... Still two down, but very good bowl. Yeah, he give, gives him a few more options for his next one. Let's see if Gary plays for position or for... Looks like he's trying to get yeah. down to that spot. Just for those that aren't familiar with the PBA, the two crosses you see to the left and right of the screen, if the jack is killed, it, it gets re-spotted on the left or right spot, depending on which side of the centre line it is killed on. So Gary is now holding both spots. So if Ross decides to have a run and kill it, um, the, the jack would be re-spotted on the uh, crosses and Gary would hold shot. I don't really see a run option there for him. What about you, Nick? Oh, I think he could possibly play under his red ball, which may lock yeah, I just with don't. a little bit of weight. Yep. And yeah, having said that, he wasn't too far away. He may, yep. may choose just to draw again. At this stage, you want to keep the game tight. Don't want it getting away on you too much. Here he goes. No, he's playing he with weight. It's pretty close. And he's definitely cut one out. Yep. 
I think he's only down one, so good result. Yeah, it was a well-played ball. And while this semi-final is going on, the other semi-final in the UK singles is also taking place. That's a game between uh, Sheldon Bagley Howe from uh, Dunedin and Craig Merrilees from Southland. Claire, our roving reporter, will be in with some updates to give us that. And the other game that's on the on the uh, green at the moment is the other semi-final of the World Pairs, which is between Gary Muirwai and Mark O'Brien playing Murray Wilson and Sasha Taylor. And Gary seems to be favouring the longer length end at the early stage. And he's eyeing that one down. And with pretty good reason, that's a good start. Yep, Gary's definitely found his line on his forehand down there. See Colin Rogan wandering around in the background. He was a uh, successful semi uh, quarter final winner this morning. He's got his semi final coming up this afternoon as well. So Ross Ellery on the back end. Just gone through a little bit. Pretty good green there. Gary coming out for a second ball on his forehand. Here we're looking just to correct. Looks to have played it pretty well. Oh, yeah. it's another well played ball. Ross, he'll be looking for this to drop down. He's close. He's very close. Yep. Looks like that could be shot. He's level. And I think the marker indicated that he is one down. Gary's switched hands here. He's coming down his backhand. Be looking to tickle that jack up to his back too. Just going to drop underneath. Yeah. Pretty good weight. First sider down that hand, so he'll take note of that. Now. He's played another beauty here. Yes. Options here for Gary. He can play weight to push those two off and trail the jack. He certainly narrowed it up here. He's definitely looking to take the jack back here. He's close. He's just slipping past. It's a good attempt. So Ross holding two. Opportunity to uh, add a bonus bowl for three points. Looks to be on a tighter line than his others. And he's going to drop underneath the head. So that looks like two to Gary to sorry to Ross to even the game up at two two ends all after three ends. I 
Uh, our lollipop man has found them in his pocket <laughs> to help us out. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> So what length will Ross choose? We must point out that we're in a commentary box and we uh, can't actually see the uh, the green clearly, so we are relying on the marker to indicate when he, it is close. So Ross playing down the backhand. Coming this way last time it was all down the forehand. to be underneath the line here. But weight was pretty good. Yep, not too far away. So that's his first sighter on that hand, so he'll correct with his next. Gary looks like he's shaping up the back hand. Nice start. Yep. Nice touch up. Ross switch back to the forehand here and he's played a very good bowl. That'll be shot. Gary's now switched to his back end. Made another good switch. Two touches. <laughs> and shot. <laughs> Ross coming down the forehand. to drop under Gary's two bowls and better still tickle it to himself but great mm, bowl right, great bowl Gary with options here I think we'll see him come down left hand or what's that is that his forehand <laughs> yeah yeah forehand yeah and look to squeeze that uh, onto Ross's bowl and squeeze the jack to his two catches yeah that looks like looks like what he's chosen Looks a little bit wide, I think. But lovely weight. Also gives him the two spots at the back if he decides to go with more weight on with his last bowl. I think that's what Ross is just asking, who's got the spots at the back. Yeah, either that or who's got third shot. Right, Ross coming down the forehand. Quite sure what I think he was trying to get to the back spot there. Yeah, but I, I think I think you're right. And just came up short. So Gary really only just needs to make contact with that shot ball. Crack the egg as they say, and he's close here. He's very close. Oh, well yeah. played, Gary. 
That's a well played ball. Don't know if he's got two out of that. Steve reaching for the lollipops. He's taken one out. And looks like it's only one. Yep. Just the one. 3-2 after four ends. I can see in the other semi-final between Sheldon and Craig Merrilies, it's three all after five ends. And Gary's continuing on with his uh, long ends. It looks like he's gone three metres to three metres here. Very good opener. Yeah. Nice start by Gary. Both finding a li nice line on that side of the uh, rink. Here comes Ross. Looks to be on a good line. How's yeah. his weight? Doesn't look too far away. Just running out of juice in the there. Might have snuck in for shot. Gary down his forehand. Looks to be light as well. Yeah, it looks like might have just taken a little bit off. Trying to correct on that first one. Ross will just be looking to add another yard. Line looks good, but I'm not sure about the weight again. No, he's played well. Yeah, good enough for one. Might have been one in, one out there. Gary continuing on the same hand, looking to just, just get round Ross's bowl. He's close here. Very close. And he's done it, played a great bowl. Toucher carried the jack back to his own, holding two. like a wider line but it is coming back now it's very close very close great effort cuts one out I think we might see Gary forced to change hands there come down his back end he won't want to uh, knock Ross's bowl up he's holding shot yep that's what he's doing back end just looking to dead draw Looks a little tight. Mm. Yeah, just cutting away underneath. Weight was good again. Yeah, good weight. He hasn't played many down that side of the rink. I'm pretty sure we'll see Ross reaching the head here. And our roving reporter, Claire, has just come in with an update. And 
It is three all after five ends in the Sheldon Bagley Hell game versus Craig Merrilees, and the first set in the pairs has gone to Murray and Sasha Taylor. Yeah, and that, that was a great ball by Ross. He set that up with his third shot and gave himself something to play to. Played it well. That should be three all after five ends. Exactly the same score in the other semi. So tight games here, as you would expect in at this stage of the uh, final series. Now Ross has brought the mat up a little bit. What length, Jack? Because he looks like he's looking to play a sort of medium length here. Sticking to the back end. Very good open up. Played it well. I think. You will see Gary continue on his backhand. He's found a good line on that side of the rink and that bowl from Ross is past the head so that Gary can sit on that. Draw underneath it. Looks to be on a fairly good line. Just cutting underneath. But good reaching weight. to be on a wider track will it come home no not quite not quite so Gary will just be looking to correct doesn't look too far away how's his weight a little bit heavy again Marker steps in to just make sure it's not a toucher. Okay, so Ross will be trying to add another one here to put that pressure on Gary. He's holding two at the moment. He looks to be wider than his last. Yeah, it's progressively wider. <laughs> Good weight, but just leaving it out wide of touch. Gary will be looking to draw here. He needs to be get one close because he could possibly be three down. Again, just under the head. Nice weight, but just hit narrow. Still two to Ross. Ross is looking at that last bowl of Gary's is slightly in his line, but he's staying on the uh, backhand. Yeah, I think he'll look, he'll look to draw again, really pile the pressure on. Four at this stage of the game could be the winning of the set. No, he's adjusted for going narrow, but he's going to slip underneath. Okay, well it's open there for Gary to draw the shot with his last bowl. Has he adjusted? Looks like he's adjusted the weight well. Still didn't quite get the uh, grass, but he's cut it down to one. Yeah. So that's 4-3 after 6 ends, 3 ends to play. 
And in the other semi-final, I can see the scoreboard. It is after seven ends. It's five all between Sheldon and Craig Merrill. I'm glad you can see that far. Because <laughs> I would be struggling <laughs> if that was my job. Ross's gear looks like he's trying to shorten it up a bit, but still medium length. Looks to be on a good line here. So the score is 4-3 to Ross after six ends. Oh, lovely opener from Ross. Just waiting for the scoreboard to be updated. Narrow from Gary. Ross coming in here. Looks to be short as well. It runs on through. He's really putting the pressure on Gary now to get get something close and just set up a shot for himself. And Gary's certainly got more grass this time. He's not too far away here. How's his weight? It's perfect. It's a great ball. Great ball, Gary. Toucher as well. Now, what will Ross play here? I don't think he'll be short. <laughs> That's just whether he tries to pick that bowl out or take the jack. Which hand? Personally, I'd be playing the back end and trying to pick that bowl out. But he looks like he's chosen the forehand. Of course. <laughs> he'll be playing reaching weight here. Yeah. Looking to sit Gary's bowl through and stay for three. He's not too far away here. Oh, great yes. bowl. It just got unlucky. Still one to Gary. Has opened it up for him for the open draw. Yep. Gary will be on his backhand again, looking to draw a uh, second shot. A little bit wide. Is it going to come home? It's coming now. I think that second shot, which will remove the option of Ross running Gary's shot bowl off. Now Ross with his first go down this side, so we'll see how he... I think he's short. Yeah, looking at his body language, he's not happy. Yeah. So Gary could be holding two here. He's asking the marker. Two to Gary, the marker indicates. So I think Ross's bowl's far enough out that Gary won't... He'll just draw around that, looking for a third. Yeah, important ball for Gary. Because it's often where these games are won and lost is whether you add the bonus. And especially as we get to the uh, final end. Thank you. 
just had a refreshment delivery. Thank you. <laughs> and Gary's just under the line here. Yeah. Probably was a little scared to knock Ross up. Yeah. Happy to take the two. And he'll go into the eighth end, leading 5-4. Gary persists with the three metres to three metres. Yeah, look, looks like he's going long. Yep, yep. he's got it down there. Seems like a definite game plan from Gary to play longer ends. Coming down his forehand this time. Good opener from Gary here. Good line. About three quarters of a mat behind. Last time we were playing this way, Gary uh, struggled with his line on the uh, on the other side of the rink, so he's changed to this side and found a, a very nice line. And, ooh, Ross nearly gets Ross. a toucher, but good enough for shot. Oh, Gary's going back to his backhand now. And to see if he finds it. He was narrow with all four bowls coming this way last time. Looks to be on a good line here. He's on a better line, just just the weight. Beautiful bowl, Gary. Yep. Pushes Ross through and sits for two. So Ross will just try and put that back. I think he's got gone out wide here and it won't come from out there. Just got stuck on it. Good weight again. Gary switching back now to the forehand. He looks like he's gone wide as well. Yeah. It's a fine line between uh, coming home or staying just out there. And this looks looks narrow from Ross. Yeah, he's missed his line on that one. His weight was good again. Overcorrected after his last one had stayed wide. How's Gary's correction? It's all down to his weight here. It's coming in nicely. I think that'll be shirt third shot. That puts a lot of pressure now on Ross. It does. Gary scores a three here. The best that uh, Ross can hope for is to draw the set. And he looks like he's switched to the forehand. Yeah. He's come down to the weight. He's on a reasonable line. He might get a rub off Gary here. No. He's cut one out, so I think that'll be two to Gary. And he will lead 7-4, playing the last end of the first set. In the other semi-final, 
Sheldon Bagley Howe is leading Craig Merrily 7 5, playing the last end in that set as well. Oh, measuring for second here. Yeah, Ross with the level ball. Might have snuck in. Oh, are they measuring for first shot? Oh, I think first is... Oh, one to Gary. Six four playing the last. Yeah, will he stick with his long ends? Definitely. Yes. No need to change at this stage. Leading six four on the scoreboard. He wants a good first bowl here. First bowl effectiveness, as my old coach would say. Green yeah. looks good. Gary will be pleased with that for the first opener. About a mat over. Still leaves an opportunity for Ross to be first onto the jack. Here he goes down his backhand. Line looks pretty good. And the weight looks good as well. Yep, yep. He's asking the question now. Uh, it'll be interesting to see here if Gary changes. Yes, he is. He's going to his backhand now. Looks to be a little tight. Just crossing the centre line now to drop underneath. The weight was good. Ross will be looking to play the same bowl, just onto the back of his own. Just a little touch to get it even closer to the jack. a little light but it's hard to tell with that camera angle no he's here but he's just underneath the line yeah, he's still counting <laughs> and he's made it very difficult now for Gary short bowl on both hands and Gary switched back to the forehand now This is narrower. It does look narrow. He may have a little bit more weight to hold. He's going to have to Not get quite. lucky off Ross's bowl, but I think he's going to slip through. Yes. So pressure on. So if Ross draws this, he's holding the set. So a lot of pressure with Gary with only one bowl left. Looks a little wide to me. But it's dropping in. Don't think it's there. But I think that'll force Gary to change hands for the fourth yeah. time. Yeah, big bowl for Gary. Taking the green. But I don't think it's going to come home. So Ross is going to have a bowl to win the first set. He may be forced to change to his backhand as well here. Yeah, we'll just ask the question. Make sure he knows what's... what's happening before he 
potentially bowls for the set. Oh, Mark is indicating that he's only holding one. So Gary's back bowl is second shot. So Ross is going up to the head to have a look. Have an inspection. I think we'll see him down as four, forehand because he probably only needs to turn his, uh, the third shot over one roll to count. Yeah, either that or he'll just stick to the line he knows. Interesting to see what he chooses. Yep. No, he's changed to his uh, forehand. Looking to just turn his own bowl over or draw yeah, the second so. shot. He could actually make three if he turns his own over. Oh, he wants he's to beat. And he's so it'll be interesting close. to see. It's all about what's happened with his the third bowl there. I think he's actually done enough to win the set here. Yeah, that camera angle looks like three, but we'll wait. Ooh. And we wait for the lollipops, and it is three lollipops. Three. Well done, Ross. So that's the first set well to Ross Ellery, 7-6 over Gary Cotter. All right, we start the second set. And in PBA, you win the toss, and you get to elect whether you want the mat or give it away. And obviously, uh, Gary won the toss and elected to take the mat. So for the second set, it's Ross's choice, and he is elected to take the last bowl. So here's Gary opening, even though he lost the set. Looks like he's played a very good opener here. Having won that first set, Ross will really want to make a good start here. Just so it doesn't turn into one of those games where it's a game of two halves. And we've seen a lot of those today where it's been one set one set apiece and then we've had tiebreakers. It's a great start from Gary. Two touches, couldn't ask for better. Ross will just be looking to correct, narrow up his line just a little bit. He's underneath it here again. The same thing happened last time down this way. It's a fine line down there. Yeah, I th think he'd be happy with the green he took there. It's just that weight. <laughs> Gary looks to be on a good line again here. Great bowling, Gary. Three great bowls. Ross is on a good line here. He may just drop in. Underneath, but he'll cut out a few. Yep, uh, it's fantastic save. So.
So Gary holding one. He'll be looking to either just sit on his own bowl or better still just push Ross through. He's very close. He's just dropped underneath. Good bowling, Gary. Four very good bowls. Yeah, so Ross will still want to be a little bit careful here. Yes, he doesn't. I think we'll see a, an extreme amount of weight. He'll just be looking to draw the jack off. He can't play weight because if he loses his own, he goes down four. Yep, that's right. He's stalking it. He's stalking it. It looks pretty good. Oh! oh <laughs> great effort. Yeah. So, one to Gary in the opening end of the first set. Very yeah. good head. That's good bowling. our roving reporter to come back and give us an update on the other semi-finals taking place. I, we don't know who won the first set, but in the second set between Sheldon and Craig Merrilies, it is Craig Merrilies leading 2-0 after one end. Solid opener from Gary. Yep. Looks to be on a good line again from Ross. And here's our roving reporter just back in. Sheldon Bagley Howe won the first set against Craig. And in the pairs, it is one set or to Murray and Sasha. And they are up 6 1 after five ends in the second set. So they're in a, uh, looking to be in a good position to uh, go through to the final, where they will play our co commentator Nick Thompson and Gary Cotter. So in that Gary game, falling short there. So here comes Ross down the back end. They both seem to have found a nice line on this side of the uh, rink. So there's a lot of bowls coming down this side. He's coming here. Very good bowl here. And that shot itself. Yep. No indication from the marker whether it's one or two. Gary looks a little narrow again. Ross's bowl was just in his line and he just yeah. <laughs> looked to bowl underneath it and missed his line. Perhaps more the weight than anything. He w looks like he wanted to be through there. Ross coming down the backhand again. Looks like he's played another good one here. He's just looking to get around. Oh, he's just going to run into his own. It definitely looks like two, maybe three. Gary down his forehand. Yeah, he's definitely playing that narrower line, looking to play sort of yard through, pick up the jack, and he's going to find the gap. So Ross will really want to add, add to the score.
could be an opportunity here for Ross to score a four on the second end. Looks to be in the area. Looks to have played a really good bowl here. Yeah, well played. Four very good bowls from Ross. We just wait to see whether it's four or... Gary's taken two out, three out, and now they're looking at the fourth. Yeah. Reading, yeah. reading his um, lips, it looked like four. <laughs> Here comes the lollipops, and yes, we have four. So four one after two ends of the second set. Another good bowl from Ross. Good weight. Gary looking to just drop inside Ross's first bowl. Looks like he's played a good bowl here. Very good bowl. I think Ross is underneath the line here. Yeah, he's definitely cut the green there. Opportunity for Gary here to put the pressure back on. Having dropped a four in the previous end, he'll be looking to score well on this end. Coming down his forehand. Looks to be on a good line. How's his weight? Very good. Yep. Very good. Now, that does look like a little bit of a target. Ross may be tempted here to play with weight. But no, he looks like he's just going for the draw. I think he's yes. just under the line again here. Just Opportunity just for Gary again here. Need another couple couple of feet of weight. Gary will be looking to put this one behind the jack because he still is vulnerable for those both those bowls going. Oh, must have been some movement behind the head. He's balked. Just resetting. The sun coming out at nine oh. be a little bit wider and he's played a great bowl I think that's in the count as well hmm. so big bowl here for Ross having picked up a four he's in danger of dropping a four straight back he's blocking I think he's underneath again. I think yeah, he's missed he's his line. I think he's light and underneath. It's not a bad green if he has the weight, but the weight's missing. Yeah. So opportunity for Gary to score a four immediately after dropping a four. 
Here he goes, down his forehand. He's giving it the stare down. I think he likes this. Is he here? He's there. Yeah, he, oh, he might have... May not have wanted to move it that <laughs> far, but we'll... Hard to tell from our camera angle. We'll wait for the lollipops. Two. Gary signalling two, so unfortunately he uh, played too good a bowl there and right. carried the jack back just too far. A bad good bowl. <laughs> First time we've seen the sun uh, today in uh, Wellington. It's been uh, raining all day. Or Started about midnight last night. The outside greens here are all flooded. They'll be happy. The greenkeeper will be happy for a bit of sunlight. Right. So the score is six three after three ends to Ross Ellery. Right. Gary going down the favoured forehand for him backhand for Ross so that score should actually be 4-3 to Ross 6-3 Gary scored a 2 on the last end that's right so 4-3 is the right score. Apologies there. Yes, the yes, marker had <laughs> credited uh, Ross with the two. That, uh, oh, great ball here from Ross. Good ball and good reply. This is very high standard. Two touches. Gary'd like to run into this and just crack the egg and expose the jack. Very good effort. Yep. So I think, you know, Ross will want to get behind here because the jack's only going to go back. Gary staying on his forehand, just looking to do. Oh, he's chain. He's having a think about this. There is an option down the other hand, but he's found a nice line on that side of the track. I'll be surprised if he changes. Yeah, I think we wanting to play a weight where if he does miss, he still gives him that self gives himself that opportunity of a bowl to play to. Yeah, I think if he's just looking to be half a mat over, he can pick the jack off, push Ross off. All about his weight here. His line looks good. He's close. He's very close. Great effort, Gary. Ross will be looking to put this one behind the jack. Yeah, I, I think that's where I'd be going straight away. That would make Gary have to be quite careful with this next his next bowl. Is he reaching? Hmm. So what would you play here? 
Well, I think Gary can afford to be aggressive here. I think he can, if he clips the uh, outside of his front bowl, he may get Ross off clean. Yeah, I think. And he's got one spot. I think now that definitely that forehand for him is the better option. Onto his own bowl, clip the red out. Doesn't really want the jack going back. Because if it goes back, it's probably going to be going back with the red. I think we'll see Gary playing with Oh, yeah. Ross's last bowl is out, so that's doesn't really change much for Gary. I think he'll be playing reaching weight, looking to push Ross's bowl through. Yeah, he's definitely on a narrower line. I don't know that he's got the weight here. Yeah. No, he had the right weight, just narrow. Tough shot on this rink. Ross will be just looking to dead draw another one. Yeah, not too much danger there for him. My draw weight. How's his weight? It's a good line. He's a chance here. And he comes. Is he going to fall back on? Yes, and he that's is. A great bowl. That's a very good bowl. I think that'll be two to Ross Ellery. That'll put him out to 6 3 after four ends. Umpire. They've called for the umpire to measure that get the second shot. Yeah, it's probably because the bowling, the bowl's resting on the other one, he'll want the umpire to chock it rather than move it. Gary's claiming that he's got second shot. Here comes the umpire. Ross is putting his fingers on it. Who is our umpire today, Nick? Um, I'm not sure. I never call them, so... <laughs> so she'll be definitely getting her chocks out here. Must be a danger of disturbing the head, even if they remove the shot bowl. Yeah, I must admit, it did look like two to us, but they're a lot closer than we are. So she's got her calipers. She's chocking Gary's bowl. She's going to have to chalk his other one. I can see what the issue was there. That's why they couldn't. Gary's bowl is actually leaning on the shot bowl. So she has to chalk that before she removes the shot bowl without disturbing the jack. <laughs> She's going to earn, it. She's going to earn her money today. All right, now she'll lift out the shot bowl without the step. Well done. And now she'll uh, use her calipers to determine who's got second shot. So what they normally do here is they rest the calipers on the actual bowl and just gently move it towards the jack because the heavier bowl won't move with the calipers and it looks like she's gone back to measure Ross's bowl the way she put it in there it looked like it was Gary for, yes Gary has got second shot so that's one to Ross it's 5-3 after five ends
Very good head. Yep. Very high quality standard of bowls here. And in the other semi final of the UK singles, I can see that Craig Merrilees is leading Sheldon Bagley Howe 5 1 after four ends of the second set. Ross going with his medium length again. Yeah, quite consistent in the lengths though, both choosing. <laughs> Ross has switched to the forehand. He did struggle coming this way last time. Had a great last... Oh, no, Gary actually uh, pushed it away, didn't he? So he was four down. He's played a good bowl here. Yep. That's definitely the uh, more favourable side of the rink. as Gary then bowls the other hand. <laughs> Looks to be on a good line here. How's his weight? Very not, good. Not bad. He might have forced Ross to switch with that. He has, yep. Ross now coming down his backhand. problem with weight again he's just just getting stuck out there on that hand a bit yep. so. Gary just asking if he's got one and he's going to stay on that side Gary going to get down here? Yes, he is. He's played another beauty. Yeah, it's a good ball. Gary holding two. And I see we've also started the uh, semi-final of the Scottish singles, which is a game between Colin Rogan from Auckland and Richie Muir. And I believe that Colin Rogan took the first set, and they're just starting the second set now. Yeah, Ross has just left his bowl wide again. So Gary will be looking to really take advantage here. Gary looks like he's just a bit short of a gallop here. So he's left an opportunity for Ross to draw her in there. Looks to be on a good line here. Is he going to get the good side? No. So it looks like it's just one to Gary now. He's probably cut out the second shot. Opportunity for Gary to get his three here if he just touches the jack. Yep. Yeah, bring him right back into the set. Quickly into his work. Line looks good. He likes it. He's giving it a good stare down here. Has he got the weight? Great bowl. So we just wait to see if it's two or three. Very hard from our camera angle. Looking at our producer Tamara's uh, grid, it looks like it's only two. And he's just getting his the lollipop, lollipop man out of his has pocket. We'll see them go up in a second, maybe.
hard to find the yeah, perfect well, the marker. Ind- ind- indication <laughs> beginning of two. <laughs> two. And he'll put it up on the board in good time, so we'll confirm. So that will make it five all after five ends. Yep, two. Lovely wait from Gary, just under the line. Ross looks to be on a good line here. There he is. Stayed with it. That's a good ball. So a toucher and shot. So Gary will stay on the same side of the ring. Ross's bowl is one bowl high, so Gary can either sit on it or just draw underneath it. Is he here? Just under the line and short. Is Ross playing a positional bowl here, looking to get to the spot? Doesn't want to. Hmm. I just think he's. Well, I think he was trying to draw another one handy and just didn't want to give it away, so he's uh, just been a bit cautious. Now, Gary would be looking to play just over draw weight, tuck the jack in around the corner for a three for himself. Here we go. Looks to be on a good line. Dropping in nicely now. Can he get down in time? He's played it well. He's played a beauty. Great shot. Three to Gary. And a toucher. Very good bowl. Just letting you know the score is actually 5 all, not 5-3. There we go. It's just been updated for us. Okay, so what does Ross is changing hands? What's he looking to do here? He's looking to play probably just a yard over and squeeze the jack to his bowl out to the side there. He's following it down. Has mm, he got the weight? Don't think he's quite got the weight. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. He might have cut that down to one. Gary's going up just to have a quick look at the head. I don't think it will change the shot. He'll just play down the same hand. He's just played a really good bowl down. Look to sit on his front one there. Yeah, anything between that wide red bowl and the jack would be a good finish for Gary, I'd say. He may be tempted to go all the way to the back. Depend, I don't depending think, I don't on what think, Ross plays. Yeah, I don't think Ross can afford to play weight there. He, if he loses his own bowl, he goes down three. Gary just resetting. All right. Comes Gary down his forehand. Looks to be a little wide. Mm. 
Mm. Line was good, just as weight. So Ross just now checking if he's one or two down. So is that chance for the jack to spill out towards Ross's... Ross's bowls? Well, I think that's, that's the shot he'll be looking to play onto his own, onto the jack. Yard overweight? Yeah. He can't afford well, it's to... it's not going to take a lot yeah. to get it over to the other side. In yard overweight, he's not going to get in trouble if he misses. Yeah. Keep the game close. Because he does have, having won the first set, he has the advantage of a drawn second set. Mm. Means he wins the game. So here he goes, looking to, looks like he's in that reaching weight. He looks to be narrow. And passing underneath the head. So we wait to see whether it's one, two or three to Gary. So he's conceded two. And they're measuring for the third. Looks like it could be three. We wait for the lollipops from Steve. And three it is. Gary takes the lead. Eight five. After six ends. Sorry. And in the other semi-final, we c I can see that Shelter Bagley Howe has won the first end of the tie-break against Craig Merrilies. Not a long end from Gary. They've both set to they're both set in their lengths. Some, uh, <laughs> Ross has been bowling the medium length, and Gary has persisted with three to three. Gary's been bowling very well coming this way. Coming into the jack now nicely. Very good opener. Another good start. Especially after winning three points on the last end. Ross here, nice, just a little bit over the weight, but very good line. Something for him to work with. Mm. Yeah, he has been leaving them wide, so he'll be hoping to remember that line. Gary looks to be on a narrower line here. I think this will cross over and under the head. to be a better line. Oh, it's stuck oh, yeah. again. He's got a little straightener there and it's hanging out. He's trying to get back, but not quite. That may force a switch from Gary. Put him onto his backhand. 
Just asking the marker where that bowl is in relation to the jack. And marker's indicating it's a half a mat low. So I think we'll see Gary change here. Switch to his back end. Gary coming down his backhand. Line looks pretty good. How's his weight? Looks okay. Looking good all round here. Oh, and a toucher. Great bowling, Gary. There's a shot still there for Ross on the backhand because both Gary's bowls are high of the jack, so Ross will be just looking to use those as a backboard. Like a narrow, he's going to need the jack here, yeah. I think. He's 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 not going to hold on here. <laughs> How far has he pushed that through? No, no change. So it's still two to Gary. Right. Gary will still be on his backhand again. Looking to just draw in between the jack and Ross's bowl would be what I think. Yeah, he just played a good one there as well, so... Yeah, here he is on his backhand. He's following it down. Looks to be on a good line. How's the weight? If he sits on Ross's back bowl, it's perfect. And it <laughs> is. <laughs> Very good bowl. Ross coming up to look at the head. I think that's taken away the drive option. It was there to split Gary's two front bowls. But now with Gary having third shot at the back, he may not... He may just look to draw. Mm -hmm. I think that's all he's got. Which hand would you bowl, Nick, here? If you're Ross. Oh, I think... I think he'll play the backhand. Personally, I would. Have, I'm assuming I was picking it well. I'd be playing the forehand. I agree. E even with that bowl in the running. I agree. It is, it's been drawing nicely on that side of the rink, and I think there is an actual path for him to draw around Gary's two bowls. But I think we'll see him on the backhand. Looks like he's still got his chalk on from his previous toucher. <laughs> Optimistic. Line doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's going to come down to his How's weight. How's the weight? He's looking pretty good here. Yep, he has snuck oh, in. Great bowl. great bowl. Under pressure. So that's eight six. After seven ends, two ends to play. know that Ross intended to throw it that far. That's more the length that Gary's been rolling the jack to. Right, Ross's first bowl. He'll be looking to get right on the jack, put the pressure on Gary. And he's played a beauty. Played a great ball. I'd say that'll immediately force Gary onto his backhand. And just, just remembering that Ross doesn't need to win the set. A drawn so set is good enough for him to win the match. Yep. So one, one shot on each of these last two ends will be good enough for him to... Go through to tomorrow's final. 
And Gary looks to have played a beauty here. Great ball, Gary. Good ball. So I think we might sw see Ross switch here. He might have to go down his forehand. I don't think he can draw a shot on his backhand. Yes, he's on his forehand. It's proved the trickier side of the rink, going both ways. He's not far away here. How's his weight? Just short. Great effort. Gary switching as well. I thought he might stay on the other hand. Just played a good bowl down there and there is still the draw there available to him. Looks to be too wide here. Mm. Hasn't played one down that side for a while. But good home. He's on the spot on the right hand side. So if Ross was to play weight, the jack would go that way anyway. Ross has just got to play reaching weight here, really, to move the jack or to push Gary's bowl through. He looks to be on a pretty good line. He's looking for it to drop in now. Uh, his weight was really good. He was just outside the line. Good effort. Gary going to play here? Is he going to? I don't think he'll go anywhere. He just doesn't want to tuck that jack around the corner to, to Ross's bowl. Following it down. Help him, help him get a picture of the head for his last bowl. Yeah, he's staying wide there. I think he'll be happy to take a uh, three shot lead into the final. End of the set. He's narrowed it up fractionally. I think he's too narrow and he's going to slip underneath. I think, that, will he get? I think that Gary can afford now to come down his forehand again here because Ross's bowl is uh, jack high. There's room there for him to draw and draw a second in there, which would mean that uh, Ross would need a four in the last end to draw the set. He doesn't look like he's looking at that side of the rink. He's thinking... No, he's going down. He's staying with the backhand. Mm. Oh, I don't think you'll see this finishing too close. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's played conservative and stayed away. Yeah. Happy to take a three-shot lead into the final end. That's right. And I can update you in the other semi-final. Craig Merrilee's got the second end of the tie-break. So it's one all in the tie-break. And they're playing the final end of that tie-break now. OK, last end of the second set. Gary be wanting to win the end. Go into the tie-break with a bit of confidence. Ross needs three to win the game. And it's uh, an interesting stat that uh, very often the person who wins the second set and a, uh, goes on to win the tiebreak carrying that momentum through from having won the second set. Doesn't look too far away from Gary for an opener here. Touch up, lovely ball, Gary.
Ross playing down his forehand on the favoured side of the rink. He's definitely struggled on the backhand going this way. He's not too far away here. Just needs it to hang around. It's good enough for shot. But plenty of room for Gary to draw underneath that. Gary quickly into his work. Yeah, so Gary will be playing the board a little bit now. He just needs to get two inside of... Uh, yeah, anything between the jack and that bowl would be a, a good outcome. And he's going to... I think that's good enough for shot itself. So that's good. Ross down his forehand. Plenty of room on either hand to draw. He doesn't look too far away here. Played a very good bowl, that's good enough for shot. Gary will be looking to draw underneath that. I'd say he'll stay on the same hand he's been playing. Yep. Coming down his forehand, looking to correct from his first. Just narrow it up just a smidge. And he'll be looking for where the three possibility is for, for Ross. Ooh, he looks a bit wide here. He's probably just weight, just a bit heavy. Line was okay, was just over the weight. Well, that ball makes the shot harder for Ross. He needs to play a specific weight now to get that jack back to his other two. So, or he draws again. He looks to be a little wide here. I don't think this will come home. No. Gary coming up to have a look at the head. I think he's only one down. So he's just got to cover. He needs to finish between the jack and Ross's two bowls because the option there for Ross with his last bowl is to uh, trail the jack towards his two to make the three he needs to tie the set. Gary just needs to draw one between those two bowls. See Natasha Grimshaw there watching on. She's been very unlucky, qualified in four events, and she's lost three of them in a tie break. She's got one one chance left in the uh, Scottish singles this afternoon at five o'clock. Right, here comes Gary. Looks to be on a narrow line. How's the weight? How's the weight? Is he there? He hasn't drawn shot, but no, I think that's good enough to... Uh, it may just be a nuisance for Ross, too. Ross just checking what the situation is there. I think he'll be looking to play down his forehand and just trail the jack for the three. Yeah, that looks like the uh, only real possibility. looks like he's made a decision on what shot he's going to play. I would suggest it'll be down the forehand looking to move the jack about four inches.
Just Gary's bowl could be in his run, which might be playing on his mind. But he's a really experienced bowler from the Manabatu region. And I'm sure he'll come up with the right option. And he's decided on the backhand. Looking to have left it wide of where he would have wanted to get the jack. Definitely two, but has he got the third? I'm not sure. So they're measuring for the third shot here. From that angle, it looks like it can only be Gary for third. Well, the tummy on that red bowl is sticking out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And, oh, oh, they're going back. Oh, they could be, I'd say they're going to call the umpire here. This is too close. Yep, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Did not realise it was that close. I should have assumed when he paid the backhand that it probably was close. While the uh, umpire chops this and measures it, we can update you that uh, Craig Merrilees has won over Sh uh, Sheldon Bagley Howe. 2-1 in the tie break. So Craig Merrilees is into the final of the UK singles tomorrow. He's also in the final of the uh, Shanghai. So Craig is having a uh, very good tournament or finals weekend. I was confident that it was Gary's before, but uh, having seen Gary with the measure down there, I'm not so confident now. Here we go. Ooh. Go to the other one. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> Two. <laughs> A tiebreaker. Okay, they will toss here to see who has the rights to call whether they take the mat or give it away in the first and third end and looks like Gary's won the toss so what will Gary do here yes yeah, so there's a little bit of tactics I like to uh, take the if I win the toss I like to take the mat with the first one try and get a first bowl effectiveness in there and then I've always got the option of the, uh, if we go to the third end of uh, taking the last bowl. Yeah, generally I always like having the first bowl. Create the pressure, and if they're good enough, they're good enough. But there is that advantage of having the last bowl. Players must be having a comfort stop. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I 
umpire is having a uh, cup of tea while she waits. You're muted. <laughs> yes, unfortunately they don't have the name tags up there, so I can't... It's 9-3 to somebody <laughs> in the game between uh, Colin Rogan and Richie Muir. And Richie looks to have possibly drawn a second shot there. And they're shaking hands, so I think that that is a win to... From this distance, looks like Richie. Yeah. They haven't moved the bowls yet. And Gary's back. And Ross. Okay, so Gary has decided to... He wants the last bowl in the first end of the tiebreak. Here we go. Will Ross continue with his three-quarter length? Oh, Jack's gone all the way to the three-metre mark. He's got the mat up about a metre. goes Ross down his backhand he's looking to put one right on the jack put the pressure on Gary right from the outset it's a pretty handy start Gary's going to follow him down. How's his weight? Looking pretty good. Ooh. to be on a good line again. Coming into the jack now. Looks to yep. play the beauty. Good correction. Still room, plenty of room there for Gary to draw. Looks to be on a good line as well. May need to get down a little bit to the jack. I think he's just going to pass through. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely giving himself a chance, though. Stage of the game, you don't want to be pulling up short. Ross will be looking just to draw onto the jack here and just tuck it in behind a little bit, make it even harder for Gary. Looks to be on a wider line. I don't think that'll get back to centre. Still room there for Gary to draw the shot. He's on a tight line. Yep, It'll all be about weight hold. here. Like Ross is considering changing hands here yeah, and just to, to tuck the jack in for possibly make a four. Not that it makes any difference in the tie break, it's only whoever wins the end. Yeah, it's either that or he's going to cover behind. Yeah, just looking to finish uh, where Gary was looking to trail the jack to, I'd say. So just a, looking to finish sort of half a mat over, but he's come up short. 
changed his hand and lost his weight. <laughs> <laughs> All been there. Right, big bowl here for Gary. First into the tie break, needs to draw the shot. Looks to be on a good track. How's his weight? Looks a little bit heavy again here. Yeah, yep. just going through. through. So Ross takes the first end, end of the tie break. He's one end away from, from advancing the final. to the final of the UK singles. The winner of the uh, the final of the UK singles gets to go to uh, Potters in the UK. Because of COVID, we haven't been, nobody has been for the last two years, so the New Zealand winners will be looking forward to getting back there and testing themselves against the world best. Right, Gary's gone that just short of full length. So it was Ross's choice who had the mat or last bowl, and he's decided he would like the last bowl. Good choice, especially as he's uh, the one holding yeah, the first yeah. end of the tie break. So he has last bowl to win the match for himself. Here comes Gary on a good line. Good weight again. Just just losing it a little bit now. Ross would really love to plonk one right on it really, at this stage. He's not too far away here. He's not too far away. Is he going to... No, so it's still shot to Gary. But Ross's bowl is in a very good position behind the jack. I think Gary's missed the line here again. He's got great weight. He's just a, probably a bowl width narrow on his line. So can Ross apply the pressure? Put one on the jack. Looks to be thin as well. He might. If he can just get in front of Gary's, he'll be might happy. Just, yeah, yes, yeah. he's done that. So he's holding shot now. Oh, I think Gary's going to go under the head in here again. It'll all be about weight. Can he get in front of Ross's bowl? No, he's dropped behind it again. Three bowls Three the, the same. same. <laughs> oh. And just that fine adjustment was so hard under pressure with his last bowl. Ross, you would think, would be looking to be on the draw line, but just in front of the jack here to make it very hard for Gary. He's certainly on a wider line. I don't think he's going to come back to centre from there. Yeah, anything on the centre line would have been good. So Gary with a big bowl. He's coming up to the head. What are your thoughts on Gary visiting the head? Nothing's changed. It, you know, I, I always wonder about what's he going to see. It's an open jack. He's bowled three the same. Yeah. I mean, on the face of it, you dead draw. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, re the Ross's shot bowl is not in a position where he can really get at it if he was looking to do that. And Ross has another bowl to come. Yeah, so no, he's only got the dead draw. Here we go. Gary playing possibly his last bowl of the match. Looks to be on a good line. How's the weight? Bit heavy, I think. He's gone through. And that'll be it.
We've done it. Hey. Oh, Colin. So they're having a look here. No, Ross, Ross is in bringing them yeah. up. Ross is bringing his last bowler. So that's a match to Ross Ellery. He's defeated Gary Cotter from Auckland by 2 0 in the tie break. And Ross goes through to the 5 o'clock final where he will play Craig Murrilees of Southland. And just a correction earlier from the Scottish singles semi final, it was Colin Rogan advancing over Richie Muir. And we will be back live at about 5 o'clock tonight for the other semi-finals of the international singles and the world indoor singles. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you at 5 o'clock. Thanks, Kev. Great job.